but getting questions about how to control the venue console from your iPad. So I thought I'd do a quick little video to show you the basic steps and then you can take it from there and do all kinds of fun things. Uh, the first thing you need to do is enable the Ethernet control on your venue console and that's under the options and then the interaction tab. Uh, you can grab an IP address uh, using DHCP or uh, a static IP. A static IP is probably the best thing to do but for this demo I'm just going to use DHCP. Uh, you probably want to enter a password uh, as well in there and you can do that by simply clicking the edit button. Once that's done then all you have to do is go to your iPad and I use an application called iTeleport and that will do the trick for most things. It's just a simple VNC client is all it is. Uh, I'm not going to step through the exact steps on creating a uh, manual connection uh, but there is a button at the bottom marked manual and that's probably the simplest way you can name it and then give it an IP address and so on uh, for your console as well as the security features like the password. So just click that and then you'll see it uh, connecting and now we are connected uh, on the iPad uh, to the venue and now I can just take my finger anywhere on the screen you can see moving the mouse pointer around and remember that the venue is not touchscreen compatible so therefore you do have to use the mouse pointer just like you would if you were using the desk directly so just tap the screen to uh, choose any function so you can choose any of the functions simply by tapping the screen in this case uh, if I want to move a fader this is the only thing that's a little tricky is that you do want to put your mouse pointer on the actual fader itself and then you want to double tap and hold and then drag and as you do you can see and it also moves the fader on the desk so the trick there is the double tap and hold and you can do that from anywhere on the screen as you can see you can just kind of keep your hand in the same spot and move the mouse pointer around. It also works for things like EQs and stuff like that. You can adjust those as well simply by uh, dragging, double tap and drag, and you can move that around as well. So those are the basic steps, and uh, you have all kinds of other options for, fi for firing snapshots and so on and like that as well. It'll work just fine. You can do your whole show right from your iPad.